All right, this thing on. Time to talk about some deviate. Okay, boom fans, we're here to talk again. Today we're gonna work talking about the uh, DV8 Captivate. One of the lower end balls the DV8 just released. Um, the day I'm making this video, I believe this ball just got, I uh, can't remember the date, but it just got released. You can check with your local pro shop. They should have it available. Um, get with them on the price and all that. It says a lower end, it's a little uh, weaker ball I say weaker it's probably not the best description uh, but it is made for medium to drier lanes so there's always balls coming out like that that's made up for medium to drier lanes sometimes they're not good sometimes they are this one here turned out to be pretty good uh, we're gonna get a chance to look at the video I did not discuss the layout the same way I've been doing in my videos lately but I am gonna talk about the layout well, let's get this closer to the camera so you can kind of see how this ended up as you see here okay the layout on this is 90 by two and a quarter by 45. the first number as i've always said before it's just a symmetrical ball first number don't really matter but that 90 is what you're seeing right here where that cg goes back toward the thumb I care because of that first angle doesn't really mean anything I could have put that CG over here would have done the same thing but I put it over there it just keeps it back closer and you don't get to worry about it the two and a quarter only two and a quarter away from my pap uh, I always keep a ball in my arsenal at least one if not multiple uh, with a shorter pin layout I'm probably gonna start experimenting with some different distances this one's two and a quarter I might start experimenting with one and three quarter, try to get a little closer. I don't know, uh, maybe even push it out a little bit, maybe go three inches, uh, which I don't know if I'll, what I'll do with that, but I just wanna play with it a little bit, get a little uh, experiment going on that. But I know that that layout, I always, that specific layout, I always have a ball in my arsenal with that layout. And the reason I have that layout is, what it does is, and you're gonna see in the video is, that ball being that, or that pin being that close to my PAP, the flare is gonna flare immediately and then it's going to get close to the axis and what that does for my reaction is while the ball's sitting in the head oil and you got this nice shiny cover it's already going to get through the fronts nice and clean but then on the back it's going to be nice and controlled so when you're bowling on those conditions uh that are, the ball's just flying uh on the back end especially you pull out something like this and yeah, the ball's going to hook on the back end, but it's it's not going to overreact. This ball will not jump off of a break point. It just won't do it because of that layout. So I always keep that, especially for tournaments. Uh, some nights my league center, you know, happens to have a bunch of friction and I need something to be stay controllable. I know it sounds crazy. Sometimes it happens, especially with the team I bowl with. So. I need something to stay controllable to keep on the right side of the head pin. And that's when this layout comes in handy. So for those of you that maybe you're lacking speed, you're getting a little older, my alarm went off, that's good, good timing. Uh, and you want something a little more controllable, definitely talk to your PSO about the layout. Um, he is gonna need to know your PAP. You cannot just randomly guess this. You can literally miss by some and end up having a stronger ball than normal you know if you don't know what the pap is and you put it in the wrong spot so but i did a video with the radical sneak attack with the same layout i still have that ball um the shape between the two balls are somewhat similar they are a little different uh but i'm really really happy with this ball you're gonna see in the video i bowled on a typical 42 feet house pattern uh, but it was a little burnt up, so it was a perfect opportunity. The only thing is there was some carry down, so it even accentuates kind of what I'm talking about, how the ball just kind of stayed nice and controllable at the back end. 
But even if there wasn't any carry down, it still wouldn't. You get it to the friction and it's just gonna roll off of it. It's not gonna jump. So you get them balls that, you know, you're trying to move left, move left, and you're doing fine. Then all of a sudden it starts jumping through the face really bad and it's really hard to control. These are this, that's whenever this layout comes in handy. Now, typically a ball laid out like this and it's a weaker ball on top of that. Uh, if you're trying to use it on fresh, uh, it, you know, it don't have enough friction. So that's doing all that controlled action and then it doesn't have enough pop to get through the pins. So this may not be your ball as you bring out to bowl game one, not unless your center has a lot of friction already. But uh, typically it's later on when they get burned up really bad and, and you just need something to, to keep it under control. So uh, this is a matter of fact, I believe this is one of Mo Pinnell's layouts, um, but you can vary it. You know, you can tweak it a little bit, uh, but this is what I keep using. I always have this in my arsenal. So uh, definitely check with your PSOs, ask about this ball, and we're going to go check out the video. Let's go. Okay, here we go. I said I got out here uh, typical 42 foot house pattern, but I was bowling on some leftover from the night before league. So it actually worked out really good because I wanted to be able to showcase this ball on burn. So, because it wouldn't, you know, you use this on fresh, it's not going to be the greatest. And you see there, it rolls out, it touches the friction, and then just rolls back up. That's kind of what I was talking about. Uh, whenever I drill balls like this. Now when I got wide, and of course, you know, 10 pin, but that's that's on me, so. But yeah, this, is, this ball comes with that new HK22 cover. Um, a little bit higher RG, uh, lower differential. Nice slick cover, it is finished with uh, compound versus polish, uh, which actually uh, complemented the ball pretty pretty good, pretty nice. Um, some people, as far as the color goes, I like the color combo, gold and green. It's different, you know. Um, I think it looks good going down the lane. I think it's going to be hit or miss on the person, but I like it. I think it looks good. I'll tell you what, though. This ball is going to be a savior for a lot of people. Um, especially if you bowl a lot of tournaments where it gets really dry. Or if you're center, that's a really good shot there. Um, you're have trouble with speed this ball is going to get through the fronts nice and easy for you and you don't have to drill it with a short pin layout it's just something I did with this ball I wanted to drill another one with a short pin layout and this ball's specs really fit into what I like to do that with so but you can just keep seeing here you know I'm playing right there right what is that 18 at the arrows I don't want to say wrong how it goes out to but you can just see it just doesn't overreact on the back Reads that friction mid lane wise and then just kind of rolls up. If you drill this, I would say uh, like a normal layout that touches that friction and a little early there and jump back. If you drill this, say your normal layout, you know, your typical, I don't know, 45 by 4 by 45 or whatever, uh, you're going to see a little more skid, probably a little more length out of the ball, which a lot of people might want. You might want that. Uh, but it's going to be. Not too sideways on the back, but it's definitely going to be more angular down lane. Uh, which uh, I did keep my Brooklyn in there. That's how bad I threw that ball. You guys can make fun of me on that in the comments. But yeah, if you drill you know, your normal, your typical, maybe 45 by 4 by 45 or something along those lines, uh, you're, you're going to see probably more length and then more angle and more um, hook down lane. Uh, which you may want, you know, if you decide to drill this ball up and you want to go with that and that's what you're looking for, then, then definitely do that. That's a bad shot. But, uh... This ball is available now. Um, and one of the things you guys can do to help support my channel, uh, you can go to my website. We do have merchandise for sale. Shirts, koozies. Dog clothes, it's teamboombowling.com. Uh, if you have any issues with that website, definitely reach out to me on here or any social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. So, yeah, I don't know what else to really say about this ball that I haven't already said. I mean, it's just, it's, 
for a low end ball some low end balls you, you really see the low end in it you know it doesn't really do much and it doesn't hit good this one does i mean they, they, that hk22 I, I i don't i haven't disliked a ball yet with that cover like every ball with that cover has been been really good so i'm really glad i chose this layout for this ball like i said i wanted to drill up another one the last one i did uh, i may have mentioned earlier i can't remember now was the uh, radical sneak attack and uh, they do have the video of that on youtube that you can go check out it is the exact same layout specs are similar on the ball uh, it was finished with polish this one has the hk22 and the uh, compound on it the shape is a little different but it's not much different getting a light, nice little light hits in there I've also got that video coming out with the uh, Black Widow Hybrid H2O, and I've got a video coming out with the Envy Tour. If you're looking for those, those are coming very soon. I've got the videos together. I've just got to finish editing them and getting them out. Also, make sure you're liking and subscribing if you haven't already. I know I said that earlier, but I just want to remind you guys again. Um, you know, the more subscribers I get, the more it helps me with this channel. Uh, maybe share it. Tell your friends about it. Whatever. I really do enjoy doing these videos. So Check out this shot here. Perfect shot. See, you just don't get how that ball's just driving through the pins. There's a lot of low-end balls out there that just don't, don't have that kind of torque whenever it's going through the pins. And that, I mean, like I said, what you're really getting out of this ball when I say a weaker ball is you're getting a ball that's not going to overreact on the dry. You're not necessarily, when I say weak, you don't, you're not losing power. You still have power. You, you won't have power if you use it on a lot of oil, you know, because that cover is just going to slide, slide, slide. And it's never going to get into its roll, you know. So uh, it's got to have all three phases really to have a high strike percentage. So, uh, yeah, definitely get with your PSO. Ask about this ball if it's if you feel like this is going to be something in your arsenal that you need. Uh, like I said, two ways: either your center has a lot of friction, or you don't have a lot of speed, or you bowl a lot of turns. So that's three ways. I apologize. That's what's going to be really useful for this ball. So once again, hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, boom fans, so there you have it. You got a chance to check out the ball. Uh, like I said, I was bowling on 42 foot with a little bit of carry down, but it was pretty burnt up. You seen this ball, I just would lay it down there and it touch that friction and just roll off of it. So it's really good to have for those situations. Thanks again for all of you for watching my videos. I'm still really enjoying doing these. I'm sure I'm gonna keep pushing toward doing more and more of these videos. It helps if you'd like and subscribe, if you haven't already. Get it shared, get more people uh, watching these things, and I'm going to keep on making them. So I hope it's been informational for you, and uh, get you on the next one. Boom out.